I'm Miss Jasmine, and this is Ama, and we're going to teach camping yoga today. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to be trees in the wind. So let's take our arms and reach up, 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 and these are our branches, and we're going to send our roots down, 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 down. That's our legs and our sit bones, the part of our body that we're sitting on. Reach up and breathe in really deep. And then breathe out like the wind. Let your branches sway. Breathe in. Two more times. Breathe in. Really reach with your branches. Breathe in. And come down. Now we're going to do a dance for the sun. So everyone come to stand on your mats. We're going to start dancing. We're going to start swaying from side to side. Can't go under it. 
We're going to have to go through it. Is everybody ready? Stand up on your mat. We're going to go through the tall grass. Brush that grass off. Brush that grass off. Achoo! I'm allergic to grass. Going on a bear hunt. Going on a bear hunt. I'm not afraid. I got a real good friend. By my side. Uh-oh. What do I see? I see a big, wide River. We can't go over it. We don't have a boat. Can't go under it. We don't have a submarine. We're going to have to go swim across it. So everybody lay down on your belly. Are we ready? We're going to swim across. snoring and and I feel something furry and it has a fluffy tail and great big paws and big ears and a big nose and a mouth with teeth it's a bear it's a bear run 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 the cave run run the cave run run the cave oh my goodness now we gotta climb down the tree climb down the tree climb down the tree oh oh Do a pose for an owl. What do you think, Amma? 
What kind of pose would be good owl pose? That is a good owl pose. So let's go like this. We're getting up kind of on our tippy toes if you can. And we're going to put our wings down by our sides. And we're going to go. Yeah? Fly our owl wings. Uh oh. Sometimes you fall down, and that's okay. Okay. What about a fox? Could we do a fox pose? What do we think a fox pose would look like? Maybe like on all fours? Kind of like a doggy? Yeah? It's a good fox pose. What does the fox say? <laughs> fox pose? Maybe we're going to do a little look it up at the sun, Mr. Fox. Maybe he's looking up through the trees. And maybe he's looking down for something to eat. And look back up through the trees. And maybe he's going to look down for something to eat. Good. Let's think about what other forest animals could we be? What about, what about a bear? Do you think we could be a bear? What would be a good bear pose? That is a good bear pose. Maybe like this, we kind of put our hands down, and we're sitting here, we're kind of squatting like a bear, like six. Yeah? Raw like a bear. Yeah? Sit like a bear. Sometimes a bear pose could be maybe for a hibernating bear. Maybe you want to lay down on your mat. That's fine too. Okay. <laughs> Alright, what other forest here would we be? A squirrel. What could you do to be a squirrel? You know, we could even do it like this. We could do it like in dolphin pose, and we could hold a nut and go. So instead of dolphin pose, it's squirrel pose. Yeah. And let's see, what other is Bunny. That could be a good one. Skip that here to be a bunny. Yeah? And then we have to go like this, and we have to hop. <laughs> and then, what about, what about porcupine? Porcupine is an animal, he's got lots of spikes on him, and when he gets scared, he rolls into a little ball like this. Can you be a porcupine in the pool? You roll into a little ball? Good job. Good job, everyone. So now we're going to be the wind and the trees again, because it's time to cool down. So let's take our branches up, up, up high and reach with our fingers. And we're going to root down with our legs. And we're going to breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. And come down. And if you would like to come down and lay on your belly, or you can lay on your back, you can sit just like this. I'm going to read a story. So the book I'm going to read today is Yoga Bunny by Brian Russo. One morning, Bunny crawled out of his hole, rubbed his eyes, and let out a big yawn. This is a perfect morning to do yoga, he said. Bunny dropped his head and arms down toward his feet, coming into a forward fold. Just then, Lizard came walking by. Good morning, Lizard, said Bunny. 
Would you like to do yoga with me? I hate everything about mornings. I wish I could go back to bed, Lizard replied angrily. And with that, Lizard stomped away. He's not in a very good mood. Bunny was disappointed, but he took a deep breath, placed his hands on the ground, stepped backward, and lifted his hips high in the air, coming into downward dog. His friend Fox came hurrying by. Zoom, zoom, zoom. He was moving so fast, he startled Bunny. Out of my way, Bunny, he said. I'm in a very big rush. Maybe you could take a minute and do this yoga pose with me, Bunny suggested. It might help you to slow down. No thanks, Fox replied. I'd rather be in a big rush than do something so silly. And he hurried away. That wasn't very nice of him to say, was it? Bunny felt a little bit sad, but he took a deep breath, stood up tall, placed his hands in front of his heart, and balanced on one foot, coming into tree pose. Just then, Bird flew down, landing right on Bunny's head. Hiccup! I have a bad case of the hiccups, and I've tried everything to stop them, said Bird. Well, Bunny said, maybe you can do this tree pose with me. It can calm you down and that might help with your hiccup. No way, Bird said. I'd rather live with the hiccups than stand on one leg. And with that, Bird flew away. Bunny's friends aren't being very nice to him right now. Will anyone ever want to do yoga with me? Bunny wondered aloud. But then he reminded himself that doing yoga alone is better than do not doing yoga at all. Just as Bunny took a deep breath, stepped back, bent his front leg, and reached his arms way up, coming into warrior pose, two little mice came walking by. What do you think he's reaching for? whispered one of the mice. I don't know, but it must be very valuable. We'd better reach for it too. And so the mice stepped back, bent their front legs, and reached their arms way up, coming into warrior pose, just like Bunny. As they had their arms stretched way up and their eyes toward the sky, they noticed Bird flying by. Bird still had the hiccups, but he came down to join them, pressing his wings together in front of his heart, lifting up one leg, coming into tree pose, just like Bunny and the mice. All of a sudden, they heard a loud noise. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Fox came hurrying by and saw the friends standing in a circle. And he pressed his hands to the ground, stepped back, and lifted his hips, coming into downward dog. Just like Bunny, the mice, and Bird. Bunny took a deep breath and lay down flat on his back, coming into resting pose when Lizard came walking by and lay down just like Bunny. Bunny was so happy his friends had joined him that he opened his mouth and let out a big um. And everyone else did the same. I know where I'm supposed to be, said Fox. Not so angry anymore. It's here. Thank you, Yoga Bunny. And there they are, all doing yoga together. Thank you so much, yogi friends, for doing yoga with me today. I hope you have a great week. Namaste.